Hi, I'm Kyle, and this is my 2016 Subaru Forester. I've had it for a couple of years now, and I've done a handful of budget-friendly mods, and today we're going to be talking about those mods. So the first mod I did was getting rid of some of this chrome that comes all over the Subaru. Um, what I used was Plasti Dip. It's pretty um, easy for beginners. So another thing that I Plasti Dip was the chrome trim around the windows here. Um, I had everything else Plasti Dipped already and the chrome around the windows there stuck out like a sore thumb to me. So we had to get that Plasti Dip. It took a lot of masking off along the windows and along the doors here, but um, kind of time consuming, but overall the finished product looks great and the plastic dip here has held up great as well. So the chrome on the grill definitely needed some blacking out as well. Um, however, this was one of the harder things to plastic dip just because I left the grill on and masked off all around the hood and all these other spots. So kind of, there was a lot of overspray that was kind of a pain to deal with and it didn't turn out the best. And you can see spots where the grill is chipping and you can kind of see some of that chrome underneath coming through. Um, it probably needs to be touched up. So probably this next spring or summer, I'll be touching up that plastic dip. So instead of buying new wheels for the Subaru, I decided to just plastic dip them to get that nice kind of off-road blacked out look uh, without spending a thousand dollars on new wheels. Um, this was a pretty fun plastic dip job. Um, you have a lot of masking to do. You got to cover the brakes um, since I didn't take the wheels off. There's a lot of YouTube videos I watched to learn how to do it. Uh, and then it takes three or four coats of plastic dip and then I did like one clear coat to finish it off and surprisingly the wheels have been holding up really well. It's been a couple years now with the plastic dip on them and they still have a nice blacked out look. A few chipped spots here and there but not too concerned about them. So the tires I went with on the Forester are the Falcon Wild Peak AT Trails. The size here is 225-65 R17, which is slightly larger than the stock tires that were on here. And the main reason I picked these tires was they were a decent price from Discount Tire at the time. Um, they're an all-terrain, so it gives you that aggressive look. So overall, I've been pretty happy with how the tires have performed. They're pretty quiet on the highway, um, have been performing really well off road as well, um, whether that's on forced roads, which is most of the driving that I, that I do, um, as well as snow and sand even, which is fun. Um, there, ha there has been one incident on a forest service road where we've gotten a flat tire driving up. We hit a pretty sharp rock. So we did get a flat tire and luckily it was under warranty. So I got one of them replaced for free from Subaru. So, so right after I got the all terrain tires, I wanted to get some mud flaps to prevent some of the spray up from mud and rocks and things. So I went with the rock blocks mud flap here in the olive green color. So another touch of green I put on the Subaru are these emblem overlays here. And I went with the mountain decal with the Subaru stars. So we also have the emblem overlay on the steering wheel. A very functional mod that I did was installing the two inch hitch receiver here. I went through e-trailer and ordered it online and installed it myself and mainly for bike racks and things, but didn't even wire anything up because I'm not planning on towing anything with this vehicle, but went with the two inch for my Kuat rack here. Got the NV 2.0 um, because I love mountain biking. So a subtle yet sophisticated mod 
as you can see here we have a forest overlay over our rear reflectors here we also have our license plate frames here as far as underbody protection goes i have a volsa adventure series skid plate um, they discontinued their skid plates but got a good deal on it it's a large skid plate I think a skid plate is a great upgrade to your car, especially if you're taking it off-road. It's nice to have that peace of mind when traveling on rough terrain. So I also have these yellow film fog light covers. They're like, okay, They're, there's kind of some bubbles on mine. I didn't do the best job of um, installing it, but it gives it kind of a cool off-road look, I thought, and it's a pretty cheap little mod. Just a little peel and stick fog light cover. So, for our ditch lights here, we have the Dio Dynamics SSC2 pods. I really like these pods. They these are in the yellow tint with the a backlit amber. Having these off-road lights really help light up and deforest roads. As far as the roof rack on the Forester, we have the Yakima rack set up. Right now I have the Timberline Towers with the core bars, which is their steel crossbar. And we have the Mega Warrior on top, the big basket um, for holding a lot of different cargo. I have the core bars, which is a big upgrade from the stock bars that came on the Forester. Those bars were a little bit flimsy. And we have a rooftop tent that we put on in the summertime. So. It's nice to have that extra stability with these Yakima bars. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments or questions down below.